Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I'm Pastor Matt McEwen, and I want to welcome you to this Kabbalat Shabbat service. It is always a wonderful thing when we can get together and celebrate this. I was just saying with our team earlier in our, in our opening prayer that we need this time. We need this time to shut off, to slow down, and to honor the Lord in the Shabbat. And it's so wonderful that our Creator knew that we needed this, and so He established it uh, right at creation. And so this is most certainly a blessing. Would you do us a favor and share this right now so that people all over the world, all over your friends list and, and beyond can experience the beauty and the, the grace, the melody, the celebration of the Shabbat. It's such a sweet thing for us and the world needs it. And I'm reminded of that famous song by Rabbi Shlomo Karlebach about how the whole world is waiting for Shabbat to sing a song of Shabbat. And that's what we are going to do here. We, of course, as always, will be joined by Chazan Peter Gordon and by Mora Aaron Wilson and later on by Rav Stephen Bernstein, Rabbi Dr. Stephen Bernstein, who's going to give us a wonderful teaching. This is a wonderful time and it's something that we look forward to. It's like an oasis in our week. I'd like to share with you before we jump in to the Shabbat celebration, some important announcements. As we know, Rabbi Shapira has been traveling quite a bit in the last few weeks, and currently, as we speak, he is in the Dominican Republic, so we ask that you would continue to pray for him. We have some exciting things that are coming up. There is the wonderful international conference that we do every year in November. It's the A Great Remnant Conference. Our background scripture is going to be Genesis 45.7, it's November 4th through the 6th in Orlando, Florida. And this conference has gotten so big and we've had so many people attend that we're actually stepping it up a notch this year and holding it at a hotel ballroom so that we have enough space to do music and worship and dancing and enough uh, room for all the people that will be there. So you want to get in now and go ahead and book your space here. This is going to be at www.remnant2022.com. You're going to want to go there now and register. The spaces will fill up. So go ahead and mark your calendar. Get on that website to register. If you've not been to our international conference in Orlando, you don't know what you're missing. This is really exciting. And we're going to have some wonderful guests there. And you're going to have a wonderful time. Also, we need to continue to support Operation Kiruv. So please go to fundly.com slash Kiruv. We can't tell you how much, especially with the prices of things going up, especially here in the United States and around the world with inflation doing what it's doing and supply chain issues that we're having, giving needs to go up to meet these financial needs, these financial demands. So please support Operation Kiruv there at this website. Also, you can join Rabbi Shapira for Shabbat services live from the Dominican Republic with this special conference entitled A Prophetic Call to the Remnant. It will begin at 8 a.m. Central Time, and this is going to be extremely exciting. We have just signed up 100 pastors to be a part of this wonderful curriculum that we have put together. This is going to continue to change the nation of the Dominican Republic. In that government, it's different than my government here in the United States. They actually have government representation that uh, represents the, the churches, the religious community in the Dominican Republic. And they are seeing a need for looking at the Gospels and looking at the Bible in a Jewish way. There is a Messianic Jewish revival that is happening there where Jew and Gentile are coming together like in many other parts of the world. This is really a revival fire that has broken out there. And we all have been blessed by Pastor Manny Valera and his musicians, his band, the teachers that we've seen there in the past in the Dominican Republic. You have seen even just a short number of weeks and months ago when Rabbi was most recently there and the amazing open doors that they've had there to the government. 
there being at uh, sort of what is the the what's comparable to the White House being there in the Dominican Republic. It's just amazing what Hashem is doing. We need your prayers and we need your financial support. So please donate to these causes. This is what is going on. This is the exciting, um, the exciting good news that is happening. Rabbi Shapira very soon will be going to South Korea because the latest book that he has, the Rifka Remnant, is exploding in the language of Korean. So many, many exciting things are happening. Rabbi Shapiro will be going later this year to Israel and also to Holland, uh, Australia in the new year. So continue to keep him in your prayers and especially his family in your prayers as well. The Rebetzin and their son Noah as he is off doing those things. Aren't you ready to enter in tonight? Aren't you ready to set aside the busyness that you've had from this week? I am. I was working really hard and quickly right up until the time of this broadcast, ready to sit down and relax, to enjoy these melodies and to share with you all over the world. And so we want to say to you, Shabbat Shalom. Let us go now to Mora Aaron Wilson, as she is going to give us the candle blessings. This is always such a special time as a woman brings light into the Shabbat, just as a woman brought the light of the world, Yeshua, into the world. Let's go now to Aaron. Thank you so much, Pastor Matt. Hello, everyone. Let's light the candles. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you so much. Let's go now to Chazan Gordon. Cantor Peter, we hand it over to you. Let us sing along with you these joyous melodies in this Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom to you, my brother. We'll have you take it away. Shabbat Shalom. And thank you, Pastor Matt. Yom Zed Yisrael around the Simchat Shabbat 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 Menucha Yom Zed Yisrael around the Simchat Shabbat 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 Menucha Tivit Tafik Totem Bemama Tzinai Shabbat Mboadim Meshmoa Bechol Shanai Ta'aroch Lefanai Masay Pa'arocha Shabbat, Shabbat Menucha He yom zed Yisrael ora besimcha Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat Menucha He yom zed Yisrael ora besimcha Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat Menucha And at a little boat le oma Shiboral in pashot nechavot Shema yatera Venechesh betzera Yasir anacha Shabbat Shabbat menucha Yom zel Yisrael Orat al v'simcha Shabbat 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 menucha Yom zel Yisrael Orat al v'simcha Shabbat 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 menucha Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Please join me. Please join me in the singing of Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharit, Malachi El Yol, Mimal, Malachi Amlahim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Shalom, 
Malachim Nakadosh Baruch Hu Baruch Hu Mila Shalom Malachi Ashalom Malachi Yehiyon Mim Melech Malachi Amlachim Akadosh Baruch Hu It feels so good singing that standard. Let's join together in the beginning of our Kabbalat Shabbat service, a series of psalms, collected songs. Beginning with Psalm 95, we sing. Lechul neranina, lechul neranina, lechul lechul neranina tonight. Lechul neranina, lechul neranina, lechul lechul neranina tonight. Naria, naria, the tzuriyishenu nekad mavan v'toda. Naria, naria, the tzuriyishenu. Is Mary alone? Let the run Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us greet him with thanksgiving. Shout aloud to him with song of praise. In God's hand are the depths of the earth. The peaks of the mountains are God's. God's is the sea. God made it and the land which God's hands fashioned. Come, let us bend the knee, bow down and kneel before Adonai, our maker. For Adonai is our God, and we are the people God tends, the flock in God's care. Oh, if you would but heed God's charge this day. Arbaim shana akut bedor, ma'omar amtai libahem, mehem lo yaduhud rachai, asher nishpat v'apim, im yibahun al-minuchati. For 40 years I was angry with the generation. Then I said, an errant hearted people are they, and they know not my ways. Therefore, I have sworn in my wrath that they shall not enter my land of, con of contentment. Psalm 96. Shiru Ladonai Shir Chadash. Shiru Ladonai Kol Haaretz. Sing to Adonai a new song. Sing to Adonai all the earth. Sing to Adonai, bless God's name, proclaim God's victory day after day. Tell of God's glory among the nations, God's wondrous deeds among all peoples. For Adonai is great and much acclaimed. God is held in awe by all mm -hmm. divine beings. All the gods of the peoples are mere idols, but Adonai made the heavens. Glory and majesty are before God, strength and splendor are in God's temple. <laughs> Iram Hayam, Umla Oi, Yalo Sadai, Bakola Chabo, Az Yeranino, Kolatea Ar, is Tay Adonai Kiba Kiba, is put a arrets, is put a velvet sad, the Amim, the Emunato. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth exult. Let the sea and all within it thunder, the fields and everything in them exult. Then shall all the trees of the forest shout for joy at the presence of Adonai. For God is coming, for God is coming to rule the earth. God will rule the world in righteousness and its peoples in truth. Adonai Malach 
Hagel Haaretz. Adonai is sovereign. Let the world rejoice. God's throne is founded on justice. Though God be clouded from view, divine justice reveals God's presence. God's lightning illuminates the earth. Fire consumes God's foes. Mountains melt like wax before Adonai. The earth trembles. The heavens proclaim God's righteousness. All people behold his majesty. Shame covers those who worship idols, those who take pride in revering images which must themselves bow low before God. Hearing of your judgments, Adonai, Zion exalts and the cities of Yehuda rejoice. You are supreme over all the earth, highly exalted beyond all that is worshipped. Thus, those who love Adonai hate evil. God protects the faithful and saves them from the wicked. Light is stored for the righteous, joy for the honorable. Rejoice in Adonai, <clears throat> you who are righteous. Acclaim the holiness of God's name. Ave Adonai, sine ora. Shomer, nashot chasidam, yad reshaim, yad zilem. Or zaru ala tzadik, lishrelel simcha. Simcho tzadikim badonai. Behodulet zacher kacho. Those who love Adonai hate evil. Amen. Psalm 98. Mizmor. Shiru Adonai Shir Chadash. Kiniflaot Asa. Hoshia Lo Yimno Uzroa Kodsho. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has performed wonders. His right hand and holy arm have wrought deliverance for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his justice before the eyes of the nations. He has remembered his loving kindness and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All from the farthest corners of the earth witness the deliverance by our God. Raise your voices in jubilation to the Lord, all the earth. Burst into joyous song and chanting. Sing to the Lord with a harp, with the harp and the sound of song, with trumpets and the sound of the shofar. Jubilate before the King, the Lord. The sea in its fullness will roar in joy, the earth and its inhabitants. Nikarod yim chawuchaf, yahan harim yerahanenu. Liv ne adonai kivan ishpot haarvez. Ishpot evel betzedek, meamim bemeisharim. The rivers will clap their hands. The mountains will sing together. They will rejoice before the Lord, for he has come to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice and the nations with righteousness. Psalm 99. Adonai malach yirgzu amin. Adonai is sovereign. Nations tremble. God is enthroned on high. The very earth quivers. Adonai is great in Zion. Exalted over all peoples, let them praise God, for God is awesome, holy. The king is mighty. He rules with a love of justice. You alone bring about equity, ordaining justice and compassion for the people of Jacob. Exalt Adonai our God, worship God who is holy. Moses, Aaron, and Samuel, God's chosen ones, called out to Adonai who answered them in a pillar of cloud. They zealously strove to obey the divine law, even when God's decrees were beyond their grasp. 
You responded to them with compassion, even as you rebuked them for their offenses. Extol Adonai and bow towards God's holy mountain. Adonai our God is holy. Adonai Eloheinu atta anitaram El nasea itelahem venokeim ala lilotam Rommu Adonai Eloheinu Adonai, our God, you answered them. A forgiving God were you because of them, yet an avenger for their iniquities. Exalt Adonai, our God, and worship at his holy mountain, for holy is Adonai, our God. Mizmor le David, Havu Ladonai Bene Elim, Havu Ladonai Kavod Vaoz. A Psalm of David, ascribe to Adonai, O divine beings, ascribe to Adonai glory and strength, ascribe to Adonai the glory of God's name, bow down to Adonai, majestic in holiness. The voice of Adonai is over the waters, the God of glory thunders, Adonai over the mighty waters. The voice of Adonai is power. The voice of Adonai is majesty. The voice of Adonai breaks cedars. Adonai shatters the cedars of Lebanon. God makes Lebanon skip like a calf, Sirion like a young wild ox. The voice of Adonai kindles flames of fire. The voice of Adonai convulses the wilderness. Adonai convulses the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of Adonai causes cows to calve and strips forests bare. While in God's temple, all say glory. Adonai sat enthroned at the flood. Adonai sits enthroned, sovereign forever. May Adonai grant strength to God's people. May Adonai bestow on God's people well-being. Kol Adonai yechalal ayalot vayechetzos yearot Atamo the voice of Adonai frightens the deer and strips the forest bare. While in his temple all will proclaim glory. Adonai sat enthroned at the deluge. Adonai sits enthroned as king forever. Adonai will give might to his nation. Adonai will bless his nation with peace. Beloved, come to meet the bride. Beloved, come to greet Shabbat. Beloved, come to meet the bride. Beloved, come to greet Shabbat. Keep and remember a single command the only God caused us to hear the eternal is one his name is one is our honor and glory and praise beloved come to meet the bride beloved come to greet Shabbat beloved Come to meet the bride, beloved. Come to greet Shabbat. Come with me to meet Shabbat. Forever a fountain of blessing. Still it flows as from the start, the last of days for which the first was made. Beloved, come to meet the bride, beloved, come to greet Shabbat. Beloved, come to meet the bride, beloved, come to greet Shabbat. 
Awake, awake, your light has come. Arise and awake and sing. Awake, awake, your light has come. The eternal's glory dawns upon you. Beloved, come to me, the bride means of it. Come to greet Shabbat, beloved. Come to me, the bride beloved. Come to greet Shabbat. Enter in peace, O crown of your husband. Enter in gladness, enter in joy. Come to the people that keeps its faith. Enter, O bride, enter, O bride. Beloved, come to me. The bride beloved, come to greet Shabbat, beloved, come to me, the bride beloved, come to greet Shabbat. Mizmor Shir, Leom HaShabbat, Tov Lehodot Ladonai, a song for Shabbat. It is good to acclaim Adonai, to sing your praise, exalted God. To affirm your love each morning and your faithfulness each night, to the music of the lute and the melody of the harp. Your works, Adonai, make me glad. I will sing with joy of your creation. How vast your work, Adonai. Your designs are beyond our grasp. The thoughtless cannot comprehend. The foolish cannot fathom this. The wicked may flourish, springing up like grass, but their doom is sealed, for you are supreme forever. Your enemies, Adonai, your enemies shall perish. All the wicked shall crumble. But for me you have greatly exalted. I am anointed with fragrant oil. I have seen the downfall of my foes. I have heard the despair of my attackers. like the palm tree they shall grow like the they shall grow tall like the cedar in Lebanon planted in the house of Adonai they will thrive in the courts of our God they shall bear fruit even in their old age they shall be ever fresh and fragrant to proclaim Adonai is just my rock in whom there is no flaw an artist cannot continually be wielding his brush he must stop at times in his painting to freshen his vision of the object the meaning of which he wishes to express on his canvas. Living is also an art. We dare not become absorbed in its technical processes and lose our consciousness of its general plan. The Sabbath represents those moments when we pause in our brushwork 
to renew our vision of this subject or this object. Having done so, we take ourselves to our painting with clarified vision and renewed energy. This applies to the individual and the community alike. Now our call to prayer, the Baruch Hu. Praise Adonai, the Blessed One. Praise Adonai, the Blessed One, now and forever. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMevorach Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Ba'en Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Ba'en Sing with me, Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bidvaro Ma'ariv Aravim, Bechokma Poteach She'arim, Uvitvuna Mishane Itim, Umachalif Et Hazmanim, Um Sader Et Hako Chavim, Bimish Mirotehem, Barakia Kirtsono Bore Yom Velaila, Golel Or Lipne Choshech, or. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, King of the universe, who by his word brings on evenings, with wisdom opens gates, with understanding alters periods, changes the seasons, and orders the stars and their heavenly constellations as he wills. <laughs> Umavdil ben yom uvein laila, Adonai tzibahot shemo, El chai v'chayam, Damid yivloch aleinu leolam ba'ed, Baruch ata Adonai, Hama'ari v'aravim. You create day and night, You roll away the light before the darkness, And the darkness before the light. You make the day pass and bring on the night. You divide the day from the night. The Lord of hosts is your name. Living God and enduring continually, may you reign over us forever and ever. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on the evening. Torah will be told, who came in the Shpati, or Tanul Madeta. How can I do my Elohim? The Shopain of the Kumain, the Sea of the Kuketa. Then it was the liberator of the Lamba, 
ארוך אתה אוהד עמו ישראל In three books of the Bible, Deuteronomy, Mark, and Luke, we find the Shema. Yeshua was asked, which is the most important commandment? And he answered, as we do now. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Hear, O Yisrael, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. And Yeshua continued, the second greatest commandment is. Ve'ahavta le'racha kamocha. Love your neighbor as yourself. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Bless His name, whose glorious kingdom is for Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Bless his name, whose glorious kingdom is forever and ever. Amen. Um, let's recite the Ve'ahavta together. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol avarcha v'chol nafshecha v'chol meodecha v'hayu הדברים האלה, אשר נוחי מצבך, היום על לבביך, ושיננתם לבניך, ודיברתם, ושבתך בביתך, ולכתך בדרך, ושוכבך ופקומך, וכשאתם לאות הידיך, והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם המזוזות ביתך ובישריך. And you shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words which I command you today shall be upon your heart. And teach them diligently to your children and speak of them when you sit in your home and when you walk along the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up, and bind them as a sign on your arm, and let them be tefillin between your eyes, and write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. True and trustworthy is all this, and it is established with us that he is the Lord our God, and there is none beside him, and that we Israel are his people. It is he who redeemed us from the hand of kings, even our king who delivered us from the grasp of all tyrants. The God who on our behalf dealt out punishment to our adversaries and requited all our mortal enemies, who does great things, yea, and wonders without number. Who maintains us in life and does not suffer our feet to slip, who made us overcome and conquer our enemies and exalted our strength above all them that hated us who wrought for us miracles and retribution upon Pharaoh, signs and wonders in the land of the children of Ham, who in his wrath smote all the firstborn of Egypt and brought forth his people Israel from among them to everlasting freedom. When his children witnessed his power, they extolled him and gave him thanks. Freely they acclaimed him king. And full of joy, Moshe and all of Israel sang this song. Umalahu 
Grant, O God, that we lie down in peace and raise us up our guardian to life renewed. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Guide us with your good counsel for your name's sake. Be our help. Shield and shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Defend mm. us against enemies, illness, war, famine, and sorrow. Distance us from wrongdoing. For you, God, watch over us and deliver us. For you, God, are gracious and merciful. Guard our going and coming to life and to peace evermore. Blessed are you, Adonai, guardian of Israel, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people Israel, and over Yerushalayim. <laughs> Ashkivenu Adonai, Eloheinu Veshalom, Ahamideinu Malkeinu Lechayim. Ashkivenu Adonai, Eloheinu Veshalom, Ahamideinu Malkeinu Lechayim. Ushmoor, Ushmoor Tzeti, Uvoeinu Lechayim Veshalom. I'm Ashki veinu Adonai, Eloheinu v'shalom, Ahamideinu malcheinu l'chayim. The children of Israel shall guard the Sabbath day in all generations as a covenant for all the world. Between me and the children of Israel it is a sign forever. That in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. <laughs> Yeah. 
God was about to give the Torah to Israel, he summoned the people and said to them, My children, I have something precious that I would like to give you for all time, if you will accept my Torah and observe my commandments. The people then asked, Master of the universe, what is the pr that precious gift that you have for us? The Holy One, blessed be he, replied, It is the world to come. The people of Israel answered, Show us a sample of the world to come. The Holy One, blessed be he, said, The Shabbat is a sample of the world to come, for that world would be one long Shabbat. My holo hashamayim ve'ha'aretz ve'chotzev ba'am Ba'echal Elohim ayom ma'kviim l'achto asher asar Ba'ish bo'y ayom ma'kviim ikom l'achto asher asar Ba'y varech Elohim Et yom ma'shvi'i v'ayikadesh oto Ki bo shabat mikom elachno Asher bara elohim l'asno Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu Belohei Avoteinu Elohei Abraham Elohei Yitzchak Elohei Yaakov Ha'el Ha'gadol Ha'gibur Ha'nora Ha'el Ha'yon Konei Shemayim Ba'aret Magin Nakot bimbaru, ehayim meitim bimbaru, ha'el akedosh ke'ei kamohu, ha'meniach le'amu biyom shabbat kodesh, ki v'rasa le'haneach la'ev le'hana. Thank <laughs> you. Le'amek t'shnei yovonek Remember Le'ma'asei What happened in the beginning? Ve'reishi Our God and God of our fathers, may you be pleased in our rest. Sanctify us in your commandments and grant us our portion in your Torah. Satisfy us by your goodness, gladden us in your salvation, and purify our heart to serve you truthfully. In love and favor, Adonai, our God, grant us your holy Shabbat as a heritage, and may Yisrael, who sanctifies your name, rest in it. Blessed are you, Adonai, who makes the Shabbat holy. Eloheinu, Elohei Avoteinu, Ritzei, The 
Our Father in heaven, may your name be sanctified. May your kingdom come as your will is done in the heavens. May it also be done on earth. Give us the bread that is our portion today and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven those indebted to us. And do not lead us into temptation, but save us from the evil one. For to you is the kingdom, the power and the glory for endless eternities. Avinu Shabbat Shabbatim, Yigadashemecha. Tava Malchutecha Yatseretzoncha, Kaasher Bashamayim, Kam Baaretz. Et lechem chokeinu teilanu hayom. Umachalano al chovotenu kasher machalnu gam anachnu lechayaveinu ne al tibienu ne nesayon ki in dechatzenu min hara ki lecha hamam lecha lehadavora vehati febet. Avinu Malkenu, bless and protect our nation. Guide those who lead us with a renewed belief and understanding in who you are. Bless the household of Israel wherever they may dwell. Be with us here where we worship you in freedom. And may those who live under oppressive rule find release and liberty speedily in our own day. May your favor rest upon Israel, her land, her people. Protect her against hatred and war. Grant that the promise of her beginning may ripen into fulfillment, bringing comfort to those who seek refuge, light to those who dwell in darkness, new hope to all humanity. This we ask in the precious name of Yeshua HaMashiach. We are at the Elenu, and it is customary to rise if you are able as we join together in chanting the Elenu. Alleen le shaber la don ha kol la take du la li otzer pereshi shalo asanu ke gaye aratot ve lo zamanu ke mishpechot adama shalo sam chelkenu kahem ve gor alenu ke kol hamon. Vaan
May the time not be distant, Adonai, when your name shall be worshipped in all the earth, when unbelief shall disappear and error be no more. Fervently we pray that the day may come when all shall turn to you in love, when corruption and evil shall give way to integrity and goodness, when suspicion and superstition shall no longer enslave the mind, nor idolatry blind the eye, when all who dwell on earth shall know that you alone are God. O may all created in your image become one in spirit and one in friendship, forever united in your service. Then shall your kingdom be established on earth and the word of your prophet fulfilled. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Sing with me. Now we go into the mourner's Kaddish. I will recite in the original language, and Mora Aaron will recite in English. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah. Amen. Ve'alma divarach hibrute v'yamlich malkute v'yatzmach porkane v'karev yeshua mishiche. Amen. May his great name grow exalted and sanctified in the world that he created as he willed. May his kingdom reign, may his redemption sprout, and may he hasten the coming of Yeshua his Messiah. Amen. In your lifetime and in your days, and in the lifetimes of the entire family of Israel, swiftly and soon. Yehe Shame Rabah Mevarach, Le Alam Ul Alme Almaya, Yit Barach, the Yishtabach, the Yit Baar, the Yit Roman, the Yit Nase, the Yit Hadar, the Yit Ale, Yit Halal Shame de Kudusha, Berichu. May his great name be blessed forever and ever. Blessed, praised, glorified, exalted, extolled, mighty, appraised, and lauded be the name of the Holy One. Blessed is he. Leela min kol birchata veshirata tush birchata vnei mata da amiran bealma veimru amen. Amen. Beyond any blessing and song, praise and consolation that are uttered in the world. Yehe shalom a rabba min shemaya vechayim alenu veal kol Yisrael veimru amen. Ose shalom bim romav, hu yaase shalom alenu ve alkol Yisrael, ve imru amen. Amen. May there be abundant peace from heaven and life upon us and upon all Yisrael. May he who makes peace in his heights, may he make peace upon us and upon all Yisrael. Amen. Amen. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Adon Olam, Asher Malach, Eterem Kol, Itzir Nivra, Le'inatav, Vechetho Kol, Hazar Melech, Hazar Melech, Shemo Nikra, Le'acharei, Lord Hakol, 
lach mit Tön im Kohl, die Zähne brale, jeht der Zahn, der Chef so Kohl, der Salmen, der Schirm, nur ne Grabe, ja, bei Reiki, Lot, der Kohl, und die Verdäue, im Lot, nur Rach, der Huha, ja, der Huha, wer der Huha, je, 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 tief, hara. Adon, und lach mit Schirm, und lach mit Tön im Kohl, die Zähne brale, jeht der Zahn, der Chef so Kohl, der Salmen, der Schirm, nur ne Grabe, ja, bei Reiki, Lot, der Kohl, die Verdäue, im Lot, nur Rach, der Huha, ja, der Huha, wer der Huha, ja, der Huha, wer der Huha, ja, der Huha, Ve huha ya ve huha ve ve tihara ve huha echa ve ten sheni le ham shilo le habira ve li reshi ve li nagli ve lo haus. The low house, the honey strong, the who ali, the chai go ali, the sword heavenly, the etzara, the holy sheep, who manos leave, may not cause. And I call Savior Mehra. I don't know what my shame will not detain him. Call you Tini Brani, it that's how they had to pull his arm and let your money grow. The Yahariki put the pull, never do you look no rabbit. Who are you, the who hold that? Who ye ever teeth are? Adon olam Hashem olam b'terim kol yitzini brali et natzav echas kol azam el neshem mo nikva veyachar ekichlot akol levadoyim lok no ra vehu haya vehu hove betipara vehu haya vehu hove betipara veyado akiruchini vehech kishan. Adonai, Adonai, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor Matt. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Chazan Gordon. What a, a joy it is when you uh, sort of do those uh, really exciting melodies there. It kind of makes my blood pump. I uh, love it. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad we don't want to lose you. But it's so wonderful being able to share Kabbalah Shabbat with you, mm -hmm. Matt. I know my wife and I uh, send our love to you and uh, so glad that we can do this again. Amen. It brings back a lot of good memories. So thank you so much. And uh, give our love to your lovely wife. Let us now go to the Kiddush as we welcome and sanctify the Shabbat with the fruit of the vine. Let us chant this together. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei peri hagefen Amen. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. Amen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to remind you before we bring in Rabbi Dr. Steve Bernstein of the announcements that we had earlier. 
We have this wonderful international conference happening that we do every year in Orlando that is sponsored by our congregation there, Yeshua Bread of Life. And Roy Tom and his whole team there are just absolutely awesome. So please sign up now. Go, go this weekend and sign up for this because space is limited. This will be November 4th through the 6th in Orlando. And you can register at remnant2022.com. Lots and lots of wonderful speakers and music and dance and celebration and worship. It's going to be really wonderful. So let's partake in this. And as I said, let's get on the ball and register early because space is limited. Also, we want you to continue to support us in Operation Kiruv. You can go to fundly.com slash Kiruv and give to this. As I mentioned earlier, everything is getting more expensive. And so that means doing ministry is getting more expensive. So please be faithful in your giving and go to this address here, fundly.com slash Kiruv and give to this monumental effort. Also, of course, remember to join Rabbi Shapira live because he's going to be doing services from Dominican Republic and you can join him tomorrow. A prophetic call to the remnant with Rabbi Shapira live from the island. And this will be at 8 a.m. Central Time. There has been a lot of development and a lot of miracles that have been happening there in the, in the Dominican Republic. And you don't want to miss what is going on there. There's been a lot of answered prayer happening. And of course, we still need to support that work financially as well. It is now my pleasure to bring on one of my, I'm not exaggerating, one of my favorite people in the world. It, it is a, a pleasure uh, to study under this man and, and to call him one of my rabbis. So Rabbi Dr. Bernstein, it's so wonderful to be with you once again. Would you please share with us from the Torah? Absolutely. It's great to see you again too. More on that. Um, so we're talking today about uh, Parsha Pinchas. And it's interesting because the actual story of Pinchas took place in last week's Parsha. And the only thing left in this week's Parsha about Pinchas is uh, the reward that Hashem uh, basically grants him and his offspring. So I'm not going to really be talking about that. One of the most important sections of the entire Torah uh, relative to modern practice is in this week's Torah portion. And that is uh, Numbers chapter 28 and 29. What is this? Well, beginning in chapter 28, we get a description of the sacrifices that take place in the temple, not the individual sacrifices, but the national sacrifices. Well, we already had a description of the national sacrifices back in Leviticus 23, and people are very familiar with these, right? There's a sacrifice for Shabbat, and there's the ones for each of the holidays. But these particular uh, sacrifices, the, the, the listing of them, although it is very, very similar, it's different from its perspective. The sacrifices listed in numbers is from the perspective of the Kohanim, from the perspective of the priests and the perspective of the temple itself, as opposed to the individual. So we get different sacrifices mentioned. We get different sacrifices uh, emphasized because the perspective is different. For instance, in Leviticus chapter 23, the first sacrifice that we talk about is the Shabbat, right? Because this is the first significant day for individuals. We have to rest. We're not supposed to do any work. And there's a sacrifice brought in the temple. But in Numbers chapter 28, there is a sacrifice that is mentioned even before the sacrifice of the Shabbat. And it is the daily sacrifice, the daily offering. I say offering because it's not only a sacrifice, there's a meal offering and there's a drink offering as well. And this package is to be done twice a day, every single day, every single day. Don't care what that, whether it's a festival or a holiday, or you wanted to go fishing or play golf, you do this offering 
every single day, always. And that's why it's called the Tamid offering, because we do it Tamid, always. One lamb in the morning, meaning at dawn, Shachar in Hebrew, and one lamb in the evening, meaning at sunset. This is very important because all of the activity in the temple takes place between these two sacrifices, between these two offerings. If anything's going to be done in the temple, it's done during daylight hours, after the Tamid sacrifice of the Shachar of the morning, and before the temple sacrifice of the one lamb at sunset. Everything takes place then. And then after the sunset sacrifice, then we do all of the maintenance on the temple. Now, something very horrible happened. And we're in the midst of looking at this. We are Ben Hamitzarim. We are between the straits. Right? So more traditional minded people that follow the customs of the children of Israel during this period of time, you don't get a haircut, so I'm looking a little bit fuzzy. We don't play music, except on Shabbat during the week. We don't play music at all. It is a time of partial mourning because this is the time that we remember the destruction of the temple. Now, the destruction itself took place on the ninth day of Av, which is coming up. It is commemorated a week from this upcoming Sunday, and it is a full 24-hour fast that day. Last week, we had another commemoration of a minor fast, and this is the fast of Shiva Asar Betavos. Between those two fasts is three weeks. It's known as the three weeks, or Bena Mitzarim, between the straits. Now, since we're looking at this, we're very conscious of the destruction of the temple. One of the things that happened when the temple was destroyed was that the children of Israel, as we went into exile in Babylon, we looked around and we said, oh my goodness, we can't do the sacrifices that are required. Hashem tells us to do it only in the place he shall choose, and he chose the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Now, Before, on Shiva Asar, with Tammuz, on the 17th day of Tammuz, we actually ran out of lambs. So for the first time since Sinai, we didn't do the Tamid offering. We couldn't do the morning and the evening sacrifice. It was the first time since Sinai. We'd done it every single day. From the giving of Torah at Sinai, and the erecting of the Mishkan and the Miluin, the installation of the Kohanes, of the priests. We did that sacrifice every single day until we ran out of sacrificial lambs because of the siege of Nebuchadnezzar. And then finally, he broke through the walls and the slaughter started. And it was horrific. We went through a horrific time until the temple was finally destroyed and burned. And we went into exile and we said, we can't do these sacrifices. We can't. We're not in the right place. So here we clearly have an instruction from Hashem. It says, do these sacrifices. Do this sacrifice every day. And it doesn't stop there. Continue on in Numbers chapter 28. Do this daily sacrifice, the Tamid offering, and you do a sacrifice for Shabbat and you do a sacrifice for the new moon, and you do a sacrifice for Passover, and you do a sacrifice for the Feast of Weeks, Shavuot, and you do one for, and for Sukkot, and you do one for Rosh Hashanah, and you do for Yom Kippur, and the entire year is laid out with sacrifices that we do in the temple. We can't do them. Now, for Sukkot, there's a very special sacrifice that's not even mentioned in, in, in Leviticus chapter 23. And this is the sacrifice of the 70 bulls, where the children of Israel, specifically the Kohanes, sacrifice 70 bulls representing the 70 nations of the world. 
that we make a sacrifice for the 70 nations of the world and we pray for them. So these, along with the daily sacrifice, the Tamid offering, the sacrifice for Shabbat and the new moon, all, we can't do any of them. So the leadership got together. And this is people that you've heard of. People like Zechariah and Haggai. People like Daniel. People like Yechezkel, Ezekiel. People like Mordechai. They got together and they said, what do we do? We cannot do what Hashem has commanded us to do. We cannot do it. Not it's inconvenient to do it. Not it would take some sacrifice on our part to do it. We simply cannot do it. We don't have control over the place that Hashem said we need to do these sacrifices. So what do we do? And these gentlemen called the men of the great assembly came up with a principle. And that is, if you cannot do it, you do as much as you can. You do as much as you can. So we decided we would get together and we would do the entire temple ceremony, but we would not include the sacrifices and offerings. We would do all of everything around it, but we wouldn't do the sacrifices and offerings. Why not? We're, we, we're, we're not in the place that Hashem told us to do them. We, we don't have control of the Temple Mount. That part we can't do, and we know that. But we can do everything else. And so we began to do this, and we would get together in the morning, the shahar, the dawn, and we would do all of the temple service except for the actual sacrifice and offer. And this became known as the synagogue service. And then we did it again for the afternoon sacrifice. And then we did it again for the maintenance and cleaning up of the temple. And so we had three synagogue services a day that were commemorating the workings of the temple itself commemorating the workings of the temple itself until the day until the day that it can be rebuilt may it be soon and in our day all of modern judaic practice indeed all of modern christian practice is actually based on these two chapters the reason we have synagogue services on shabbat is because there's a sacrifice for Shabbat, an additional sacrifice for Shabbat. And this is listed in Numbers chapter 28 in this week's Torah portion. The reason we have services on Pesach and on Shavuot is because there are additional services or additional sacrifices for those days. So we have additional services for those days. And then with the burgeoning understanding that Yeshua was the Messiah back in the day, we had synagogue. Why did we have synagogue? To commemorate what was going on in the temple. To commemorate what was going on in the temple. That is the only reason we had services. And so those services became transferred, the whole concept to the Gentile people that were also believers in Yeshua. And so today, all of church service is actually based on these two chapters, Numbers 28 and 29. So services for all of Judaism, all of Judaism, services for all of Messianic Judaism, services for all of Christianity, no matter what brand of Christianity you come from. All of that stems from this week's Torah portion. Numbers chapter 28 and 29. So as we are continuing to be in somewhat mourning and we're con and we, we are approaching the Rosh Chodesh Av, the beginning of the month of Av, where our mourning becomes even more intense and we don't eat meat and we don't eat dessert. We remember the temple because we remember God's commandments and it is our intense desire in our heart to fulfill God's commandment as he commanded us to do. Shabbat Shalom. 
Shalom brothers and sisters as we enter to this time Bain Amit Sarim dire straits the three weeks between the time of 17 at Tammuz to the 9th of Av. I have a request from you. Absolutely huge week this week. We are heading for the Dominican Republic with the help of Hashem and your generosity. We are awarding this week 137 scholarship, $200,000 worth of scholarships. Friends, a national and messianic revival is taking place in the Caribbean right now. And this week I will be there for the historic kickoff of our program called El Ritorno, the restoration, the return in the Dominican. Friends, we want to give more scholarships and we want to cover just the expenses. Would you pray and ask the Lord whether or not He wants you to be part of it, support it, and truly, truly bring forward, bring forward this message of salvation, not just to the Jew, but to the nations as well, as the kingdom of God is not far, and the restoration to the Jewish roots of the faith is happening now on a global level, on a national level, and we are asking you to be part of this. So thank you for your support, thank you for your prayers, thank you for your generosity, and lift us up this week. Thank you for considering being part of the salvation of the nations. God bless you and shalom everybody. Thank you. 